guys? My name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk about shaving with a safety razor and tips on how to shave um, everywhere with a safety razor. I'd like to preface this video by saying that body hair is fine. Um, it doesn't make you ugly. It doesn't make you unattractive to have body hair by any means and I fully believe that women in particular should not feel pressured to remove their body hair in any way shape or form so by making this video I'm not trying to say that you should be shaving I'm not trying to say that it's better if you shave just if you do happen to shave be one of those people who shaves um, some tips and tricks on how to do it in a more zero waste and eco-friendly way so when I was first thinking of making the switch to a safety razor, I really couldn't find any videos out there that talked about the best way to shave with them, the best way to care for them, um, that addressed the concerns I was feeling in making the switch, um, how it really was to shave with one versus your standard plastic disposable razor. I found a few videos out there, but I didn't really find any that described anything in a really helpful way, a really instructive way that I felt encouraged to go make the switch from a safety razor, because they are a little daunting. I felt daunted by it in comparison to your standard plastic razor, if anything because there's an actual razor blade in the razor. So this is my razor, it's a standard length handle. There are some that you can get that are I think an, an inch or so longer just so if you have a bigger hand you can really grasp it. Um, I have slightly big hands but I just felt the standard would be better um, for getting into the, the little areas around like your bikini line and stuff that you might want to shave. This one is one that unscrews at the top right here. There are some that will unscrew at the bottom of the handle and this part will kind of fan open like that and you stick the razor blade there and then you screw the bottom back and it closes up but this one you just grasp by the short ends too because these sides have the actual razor blade on them and you untwist like so and then you're just left with let's focus here and then you're just left with these three little sections and this section plops off and it's just a little base to make sure that you don't actually cut yourself and then right here you just have the actual safety razor itself Let's see how you can grip this safety razor and then you have yeah, the little actual safety razor itself that comes off of the top piece right here. So, and then you just have the top part, slide the razor onto it, have the guard part, stick that on there, and then just screw it back together. And very quick, very simple to change the razor blade. And as you can see, the razor blade is very flimsy. It's a flimsy little thing. I expected it to be much, much sturdier, um, which honestly I think is what terrified me the most about using a legitimate razor blade versus the plastic ones. Yeah, this is much less frightening than it seems. If you're scared of using a safety razor, I promise you, it really is not scary it's not dangerous you just have to be careful and you do have to go a little slower and I chose the one that unscrews at the top mostly for the reason that the few videos that I did see the people had the ones that unscrewed at the bottom and one of the things that they were saying was that while they were shaving um, you, you'd rub against the handle a little bit and it would start unscrewing on you and the little the little top would open up just a little bit um, which scared me more than just using a safety razor did already. 
So my main concerns when thinking about switching to a safety razor was mostly that I was going to cut myself horribly any time that I tried to use it, let alone the first time that I tried to use it. I was also really concerned that it was going to rust immediately since it's all metal and it's kept in a very wet environment of a bathroom. Another thing that really worried me was just getting the angle right because there is a specific angle that you have to hold it um, and shave at just to make sure that you're hitting the razor blade part and not just the barrier parts. The realities are mostly very positive. The only two negatives I've really found is that, I mean, it will rust eventually, but not if you take proper care of it. I researched that pretty hard. Um, if you want a video on how to care and clean for your safety razor, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make one. So it will rust if you don't take care of it. If you take care of it, it really is a pretty sturdy, very long lasting tool. And it is a slower shave, um, which I don't really think is a bad thing. Um, worth it to save the money and the planet instead of using the plastic razors. The positives, however, far outweigh any of the negatives that I have seen so far. Namely, I have not cut myself once using this razor. I used to nick myself all the time using those plastic razors. I have not cut myself once yet. Like, knock on wood, have not cut myself once using this. It's also a much closer shave and I feel like it lasts longer and my stubble comes back softer. The softer part could just be in my mind, but it is a much closer shave which does make it last longer. So you're shaving less frequently. And you know, honestly, I don't really get razor burn anymore. Um, I don't know if that has to do with it being a closer shave or if just the hairs don't get caught as much as they did with a plastic razor, but yeah, I, I haven't gotten razor burn so far using this, this safety razor. So some tips for using one of these is the first one really just you have to go slower. Even when you get used to using one of these, I've been using mine for four or five months, I still go far slower than I used to with a plastic razor. I also recommend shorter strokes when you're shaving. Um, I know that when I used a plastic razor you'd go and like one big long stroke up your leg and do that a whole bunch of times. With one of these you kind of have to go in little short strokes just to make sure that you're not clogging this up with hair because since it is a single blade, um, if it gets clogged up it's really, there's Blades, the single blade you have is clogged up and it won't shave anymore. I also recommend always using some sort of shaving cream or soap because I know when I would shave with a plastic razor and I'd shave my underarms, I would just get them wet and shave. But with one of these, you really do need a little bit more of a, a lubricant to go with. So I would recommend um, a shaving cream or a soap. Another big tip that you should really keep in mind when shaving with one of these and one of the reasons why I think I was most scared to start using one is because it is double-sided. So when you're shaving in more intimate areas or where you're going to run into skin on both sides of the razor, you really have to be careful to not smack your skin up against the side that you're not shaving with. So if you're shaving again like in your bikini line or something, you really want to make sure um, that there's an adequate amount of space between your leg and the razor versus where you're shaving with. Another big tip is to clean these on a regular basis. You need to unscrew everything, give it a good rinse off, dry it off, put it back together, and keep it out of your shower. I would keep it in a drawer or a cupboard, but just don't keep it directly in your shower all the time because it will trap moisture and then it will really rust and you don't want to shave with one of these. Um, if it's rusty the same, you wouldn't want to shave with a plastic razor were it rusty. So that is it guys. I hope that I have helped a little bit in your decision to switch to a safety razor because they're much better for your pocketbook, they're much better for the planet, and they're all around just easier to use. and more hygienic to use. 
If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below and I will answer them. I will also link where I got the safety razor um, in the description below. It is the brand Merker. Yeah, Merker. Um, I got it from Life Without Plastic and I'll leave that link in the description box below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you again in a video soon. Bye!